In this video, I'll show you how to fix the something went wrong error message when trying to sign in to your Microsoft account. So this error message can appear when trying to sign into the Microsoft store. It can happen when trying to sign into the Xbox app, and it can also happen when trying to access any of Microsoft products like Word or Excel. So there's essentially two different ways that we can fix this. The first is you need to head over to your start menu and search for services, click on the services window, and then scroll all the way down to find the Microsoft account sign in assistant, which is this one here. Then we're just going to double click on this. Make sure the startup type is set to automatic. Make sure the service status is running. So if it's stopped, just click on this start button here. And then once you've done that, click on apply and OK. And you'll then need to right click on the service and select restart. So now if you try once again to sign in, that should have fixed the issue. If that's still not working, another way to resolve this, especially if you're having issues with Microsoft Word or Microsoft Excel, what you need to do is just open the application that you're trying to log into. And in the top right hand side, you can see I kind of have this warning flag right here. So if I just click on my profile icon, click on office user info. You can see the reason why I'm getting this error message is because my subscription for this Microsoft account is set to this email but it's signing me in with a completely different email address so in order to fix that you just need to sign out of any accounts that aren't currently this email address so i'm just going to click on the sign out button over here click on sign out and just do the same thing for any accounts that aren't the original account owner and once you've done that and you're logged into the main account holder which for me is this contact at widereachdigital.com if i now head back over to my document and create a blank document you can see that warning message has now gone and it's removed that error message we were getting. So that's it guys. If you did find this video helpful, then please consider dropping a like and subscribing.